crypto muscle coming to you another youtube video oh yeah and an actually right now we'll watch again there was that crypto muscle on the crypto muscle network coming to you another video man it's so funny all right because you know it's the end of the year 2023 this is the last video of 2023 episode 5280 can you believe that 5280 episodes that I've done uh, throughout the last all in all uh, what four years four and a half years uh, on YouTube you know doing 15 minute two second videos on average right? I've been doing some 30 minute ones lately 45 minute ones lately as well uh, but on average 15 minute two second videos uh, you know two to five videos a day seven days a week for the last four and a half years has culminated now to 5,000, I'm sorry, 5,290. So that's the number, 5,290 episodes. All right, now it's the end of the year, you know, 12, 31, 2023. We're gonna enter 2024. And all I gotta say is, uh, you know, Money Tree will finally be reburied with I'll give Money Tree their partner I right, drip I'm gonna make sure drip and I'll, this is a little bonus throwing check this out all right bonus throwing all right so this happened uh, this talk was uh man what was the date posted on this one? oh this is back in uh, mid-December here all right it was brought up a couple weeks ago so this from dibs io guys remember dibs io this was a flash from the past. All right, Divs IO, a little quick rundown. Divs IO um, launched a few months before Money Tree did, right? And buddies of your boy here, Tiwi. Um, and the thing about that was, you can see it on the wall already, man. And, um, bloods, tokens, bullshit, all right? I called out Dibs from the get-go. I said, Dibs is trash. And and what did they do? The first thing they did was they did they advertised Money Tree on the Dibs, uh, I guess, you know, platform. And I was like, that's fucking trash, cross-promoting, all that, because they're all buddies and stuff. I was like, that's trash. Money Mike's trash. You know, that ran Dibs IO. And you're going to see that this is all trash. So look what happens. Money Tree went down because Tiwi couldn't bear not to make $100,000 that he kept on promising he's going to make every year and never did. So he stole from it. And, you know, Divs IO lingered around. They booted me out of their chat just because I'm me. All right. A long time ago. And uh, look what happened here. All right. Due to leaked private keys and compromised token and staking contract that led to a hack, I'll make an executive decision to close the door for on uh, dibs for good. Now I'm going to go kill myself. See y'all next slide. Even though he's saying that, and then he deleted his whole thing. The thing about it is, is that he did the same exact thing. Did, he pulled the Tiwi, all right? Couldn't bear, you know, to make nothing out of this piece of shit deal. Even though this thing kind of lingered around a little bit longer than that trash Tiwi project money tree, um, this thing, all right, has been over, all right, and it was trash. Uh, Delete his account, all right, and, um, you know, that's great. I hope he gets someone to talk to, you know. Let's try to get in touch with them. Really sad, which they won't, <laughs> all right, because bloods are just leaders they don't give a shit about nothing and what he did was he closed up shop because you know the thing about divs.io was there was nothing good that you could do with it it was trash so that's why they're done he pulled the tiwi took the money closed up shop called it a day all right and that's just what it is uh because divs was trying to be like an exchange and a token like staking type of platform but it was really nothing. It was trash. And I trashed on all that shit 
during their time when they were trying to run these programs together, you know, Money Mike and Tiwi and all that. And, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> and then they kind of went their separate ways, especially uh, when Money Tree closed up shop. All right. You, you, <laughs> I, I think I showed you guys a reaction to that. You know, Money Mike says, oh, that's fucked up, you know. You know, I can't believe he did that shit like he's in shock. Bullshit. They all know what they were doing. They all know that they said they're buddies. They all know what they're doing. And that's why they pulled this, I guess you could call it a heist. All right. Because, and these are like mini heists because these guys are a bunch of nobodies anyway. They're like Tiwi, Money Mike, they're nobodies. All right. So they hi they pulled the heist, mini heist, because... You know, they're, they're, they make trickles of crypto or what they made from it is trickles compared to major projects in the space, all right? They're not pulling anywhere near like what Drip is doing, for example, that say like Forex Shark is, was pulling in, right? But right now, Forex Shark is bleeding. <laughs> and speaking of which, right, Bloods and all that, he's bleeding because... He's got nothing going on for the longest time. Ever since they pulled the faucet because they figured out that, oh, shit, this thing keeps on minting tokens and it's inflation, right? Inflation keeps on adding more to the supply and it keeps on doing all this stuff. And uh, after all this time, right, after, what, three years or whatever, um... If, you know, finally figured out, oh shit, the token is minting and it's deflation and it's inflationary. And so the, the, the supply keeps going up. So what do I have to do? Oh man, I should just take, take out the contract. So that way we could finally stop the minting and we could finally control the supply. And then we could finally try to rein in value to make it uh, more valuable once again, but too little, too late. All right. The problem is that when you have these sort of quote unquote daps in this space, you know, the drips, right? And this is pretty much the copy version, the forked version, however you want to call it, to bankroll flow and all the other bankroll projects from back then. Very, very similar concept. And what do you do? You open up a wallet, right? How do you get more out of it? You open up another wallet. Oh, shit, you know what? Well, that's a genius move. I, I can make money from it while I'm making money from it on my own. So what do you do? You open up another wallet. Oh, shit, you know what? I'm going to share with my friends. Hey, guys, check this out. All right, and they sign up. They do it. Now you could do the same thing. And then, oh, how about this? I go under you. You go under me. I go under you. And you go under me with all these different wallets. So when you get a bunch of people doing the same old shit, what's going to happen? It's going to continue to, uh, you know, pump out the minting of drip. And as it keeps going and going and going, the house of cards gets getting taller and taller and taller. And it's going to, you know, tolerate and bear so much weight before the house of cards fall down. And that's what's happening right now. The, ho the house of cards is falling down. Forrest Shark finally comes to his thoughts saying, oh, shit, I got to rein in this whole thing. So he takes away the faucet because the faucet's, you know, not doing nothing except giving you 1% of, uh, of, uh, two cents here. So if you bought your drip, all right, if you bought your drip at a hundred bucks, but now it's minting at, not minting, I'm sorry, staking at, you know, 1% a day, 365 days a year, right? Because, so you can make 365% because it continues to do its thing, right? It's maintaining its consistent flow. But because it's making 1% a day, doesn't mean it's going to make 1% a day at the $100 you bought it at. You're only going to make it at the current price of $0.02. Cents, all right? That's how it works. And so all you guys that bought it in at that time, man, man, oh, man, oh, man. You guys are just bleeding, all right? So you guys are just hoping and dreaming that it will one day reach $100 again, which it will never will. 
this is a this is a hint right here of what's what it is. All right, never happen again. Reach a hundred bucks, just like the Animal Farm will never reach us all time. It'll never get there again, because Animal Farm is a dead project. No one gives a shit about Animal Farm. There's no nothing that it it does nothing for the whole ecosystem. What does Animal Farm do for anything? Nothing. All right. So let's look at Animal Farm. Uh, let's see, pigs, eleven seventy-five. You could call it flat because it was at eleven seventy-seven a week ago. It's eleven seventy-five. Seventy-five now. Call it flat. All right, trash. Anyways, um, dogs. All right, same thing. Flat. A little bit of a mini pump. Flat. All right, so two forty-eight for the dogs. No one gives a shit. All right. Here's always a telling sign for me. Is this right here? Let me refresh this. Ooh, man, it keeps going down by the million. So just last week, it was at 19 plus million, almost 19, 20 million, right? Almost 20. And a couple of weeks, and then the week before that, it was like 20 million. So it's starting to go down more and more, right? People are taking their money out. Sooner or later, the big dogs, right, are going to take their money out. 4X. And once the Kool-Aid drinkers, quote unquote, promoters, uh, to find the side, you know what? I think enough is enough. I'm gonna pull out while I can and cash out. That's what's gonna happen. They're gonna cash it out. It's gonna start a run, and the run of uh, cashing out is gonna drain this whole deal. And then, <laughs> what are you gonna do, right? It, what are you gonna do? So, you know, watch what happens there. And then the last piece of the fail is this. Drip shitcoin called, you know, what it is, what it is, right? Drip. And so, when you look at everything, a year ago, 77 cents a year ago. Now down at 2 cents. So it's 96.5% down from a year ago. Uh, it'll never get there again. But how about this? We'll, we'll, how about this? Do it. I'll give you guys a Tiwi tip, all right? Because Tiwi was such a vast, a person of, of vast knowledge, right? Oh, man. He was so inspirational in terms of the tips he gave on crypto, right? How about this? You buy some now. Be like what Jamie says. You could be a new whale. Get a shitload of these. And be like what Tiwi says. Don't look at it right now. Look at it four or five years from now. Because that's what he said before. And I'm not kidding. That's what he said. Don't look at the prices right now. Okay, you, you look at it four or five years from now, and then you'll see that the price will be better. All right, yeah, I, I dare you to do that. Do it, do it. Four or five years from now, uh, I mean, this is when Forex has moved on to some other new project, and uh, four or five years from now, probably, probably he'll be on to like two new projects um, because another one will die, and then he'll be on another one again. Um, while you're here still waiting with your bag full of shit coins, thinking it's going to go back to all time highs and it's really not going to go anywhere. But that, that's what you guys want to learn. Your lesson in, go ahead, learn your lesson because, uh, I've been telling you guys this all along. Um, there's nothing going on for drip right now. It doesn't matter what they're saying. I don't care what forks are saying. I don't care what barter clowns saying. There's nothing going on. This thing is dead in the water. What are you guys waiting for? You better cash this shit out now because two cents is still good enough because once it goes into that penny, all right, once it goes below zero, what are you going to do then? All right? So uh, all I got to say is that the inflation rate that it has and was absolutely unsustainable. That's right. The worst project in DeFi. Wow. I mean, it is. Because they're trying to keep a dead project alive by kind of just saying things, but nothing's really happening. That's the thing. They keep saying things, but nothing's happening. Uh, so 2024 is going to be the death of Drip. And that way I'll bury Drip with Money Tree. And you know what? I'll even give a Dibs IO burial as well into all that shit too. It's going to be fun. I'm going to bury all three together and they can all live together underground, six feet under. I can't wait for that. Woo! Comment down below and Happy New Year.